What's up guys, Zinigami here. We're gonna go through 30 stamina on Hogback Island. Alright, oops. The team we're gonna be using is this team right here, Double Garp, uh, free to play team. Really the important ones you kinda wanna have are uh, Kobe and Marine Jangle is always really nice to have. Golden Pound Usopp of course, it's Psy, we might as well bring Golden Pound Usopp in. Just like every other one type unit island or one one color island, you can only bring Psy units here. And since we can only bring Psy units, it's pretty easy to pick your team. You just kinda pick all the yellow characters you have. Oops. Wrong attack order there. You can always stall for one turn there by just killing the middle guy last. Uh, this island isn't very hard at all. The best thing about this island is that you've got tons of turtle, purple turtles and tons of purple pigs. The purple turtles not that important for us on Global since we have like purple turtle times everywhere. But you got lots of piggies here on this island, so for all those purple stuff you get the piggies. Marine Django is an alternate evolution to Django, so if you got Django from one of those early islands you can always do the second evolution using yellow units and it evolves Django to Marine Django. The secret stage on this island is Sindri. Sindri, uh, Psy unit, not very hard. Uh, just like the in the entire island just isn't hard. You just kind of play it all really slow. And you'll be good. What well, There is only one thing you really need to know in Golden Pound Usopp. We're going to be using his special after Hogback does his, does his special. That's the only thing you really got really to gotta do and if you do that You'll be super fine with Hogback's Island. I'll show you what I mean when he enrages. I believe this is the first time that we... No, no, we've seen Enrage before on Global. Pew, 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 pew. You can also use Frankie Captain as your captain if you don't have uh, Garp as your captain. And Hogback's always like really... Hogback's just really nice here. It gives us all Psy Orbs because that's just how he plays. Such a nice guy, true friend. Uh, you'll see Hogback three different times on the island. Just uh, first couple times are just kind of hello there. They don't, he doesn't actually do anything. And then the last time is the actual Hogback fight. Remember that Sindri can show up at any any stage between one and between one and ten, or one and nine, and she won't show up on stage ten because stage ten will be Hogback himself. Uh, what Hogback will do is Hogback will first on stage one, uh, turn one, he'll give himself defense up, and well his entire team defense up, and then attack on turn two. He will one second. Let me finish my attacks before I keep talking. On turn two, he'll enrage his entire team, so that way everyone's cooldowns go down to one attack every turn. So what you would want to do is don't, either you want to burst Hog back down turn 1 if you're using like a double Marco team. You want to go and pound and make sure you kill, uh, kill Hog back turn 1. If you don't kill Hog back turn 1, you want to try to kill the guys on the outside first and then worry about Hog back after that. On um, turn 3, Hogback will swap all our orbs over to Int Orbs, which Marine Django is really, really useful useful for. And here we go. So turn one, defense up. Yep, yep. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We're not gonna golden pound now. And I mean like we can garp now, it doesn't really matter. I've got two garps. But I don't have if you have Garp you kinda wanna bring Mr. Two. Mr. Two also free to play, but he's kind of a rare drop if you don't have it. And you always can Frankie to move orbs around, but I don't really care that much right now. We're just going to try to kill three guys on the outside if we can. Boom, boom, boom. This should take out two of them. Oh, nope. I missed my perfect. What a waste. Oh, we got tons and tons and tons of hit points with double guard. And no one hits very hard at all. On turn four, Hogback will also heal himself for uh, up to 75%. It's like now he's done his... Enrage, he boosts his character's attack, he boosts, uh, he turns everyone to one turn cooldown, and we just go and pound Usopp, and then it's totally easy. 
Uh, we can Frankie here just to show what Frankie does. Frankie lets you move orbs around twice. Do do do. We'll move it here, and we'll move our second side to our other Garp just because they're the strongest. We'll use Kobe because next turn I know I'm going to get full Psy orbs. Well, I know I'm going to get full Int orbs, and I'm going to swap them all to full Psy orbs because that's what we can do. Aw, oh, really? Just a sliver of health. Alright, give us those Int orbs, baby. And now use Jenko. So remember, you use Golden Pound Usopp after after Hogback does his Enrage, or else Hogback will attack every turn. But Hogback doesn't hit very hard at all. Uh, each of his guys only hit for a couple thousand each, and Hogback hits for how much does Hogback hit for? One second. I'll tell you after the attack here. And he'll heal. Uh, Hogback hits for. Oh, I don't have actual. I'll, I'll just have the number on his side. You'll see the number over there while I'm talking. How much Hogback actually hits for? But it's not hard. Not very. Not very hard at all. Pretty pretty soft guy. Like I said, the hardest thing about this island is just having six psi units or five psi units. If you've got that, you're good to go. Use Frankie if you have to. Otherwise, you kind of want to use Garp or Shanks are the more recommended captains. Like, I'll be doing it with the Shanks. I'll also have different teams shown to the side here, but at least this way you guys can see one way to beat uh, Hogback. Hogback Island, great for pigs, great for int turtles. You also get Uruji books, that those delicious Uruji books, and um, somebody else's books. Mirage Temple Nami books. So Mirage Temple Nami books, which are really, really useful if you want to use Mirage Temple on Zephyr. You can use it. You can use Mirage Temple even twice on Zephyr if you have her levels leveled up high enough. So Mirage Temple Nami, Uruji books, and pigs are the best thing from Hogback. Hogback and uh, Sindri, not really that important. Anyways, guys, I've been Zinigami. Good luck farming, and y'all stay beautiful.